Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy, not the babbling Belgian, and welcome back to God of War. We're back in Midgar, and uh, we're at uh, Brock's shop at the center of the bridge. But uh, we're gonna head out immediately now because I want to see where we're heading next. Uh, we have a few favors, so a few side quests available. Back to the Black Breath. Of course, we need to walk across the bridge to the Vanaheim Tower. Are we going to the Black Breath or exploring? Your choice. Well, we're gonna explore a bit first, because I think if I recall correctly, there's supposed to be, yeah, there's supposed to be another um, light bridge over here. If Atreus would um, bother coming down here. There we go. So I think, or is this just also the side of the... S no, no, look, there's another item. I knew there was gonna be something here. More hacks over. Did you see something out there? That tower. I see no tower. Maybe I'm seeing things. Yeah, there was a tower there for a second, and if I recall correctly, that was Jotunheim. Um, that that points towards. Which is interesting. Um, I could take the boat and try to see if I can find where we need to go eventually. But... I mean, we know where to go right now, but there's... Ooh. There's not a chest over there. I'm gonna go get that first. Give me a second. I wish we could have gone on a trip like this with Mother. She could fight, couldn't she? Yes, she fought beautifully. Beautifully? Okay then. This seems to be a bit of a, a puzzle. Oh god, what's going on? Nightmares. I can deal with that. There we go. Taking care of them. We did drop a few things. Ooh. This guy got... Uh, oh, okay. This guy got... Ooh. Impaled horribly. And then a sword in his neck as well. That's overkill, dudes. That is definitely overkill. I wanted to have that bolt. And then there's... This. Oh, another scroll. So that's for Something Atreus. Maybe a map? A map. Find the location from the scroll. Motsognir, ruler of man and beast, I came to this kingdom to learn if he had obtained the ingredients to forge the armor of legend. All I found was death and sorrow. I leave this offering in memory of those who suffered in the dwarf king's quest for glory. Okay. Find the location from the scroll. C. R. And N. There we go. Chest opened. Apple or horn. Apple or horn. Apple or horn. If it's an apple, I get an upgrade. Apple six. We're at six, so that means hell bar upgrade. Yeah, you do, don't you? So we could probably get up there as well. But how? I'm also wondering. So that, aha. Uh -huh. Uh, Kratos, move out of the way, thank you. Another ship head. And then, how do we get... This looks like something where I could boost Atreus up, but... Apparently not this time. Look, we rode past that statue of Thor earlier, when we left the witch's cave. And what direction is that? It's mid-morning, the sun is over there, so... That's south. Southwest? Good. Indeed, very nice. That was very nicely done. There's a few enemies in our way right now. Seems like... Are those... No, those are normal Draugr, right? Yeah, he froze, so I'm... That's definitely a normal Draugr. Oh, what the hell? Maybe scratch the normal one. Thanks for the warning there. Swipe. 
And smack, smack, smack. And uppercut, smack, smack. Juggle. And there we go. Ooh, he, he went flying. That was a lot of experience. That was a lot of experience. Where the hell did that come from? Because to me, that felt, yeah, of course they were upgraded, but not worth that much. So now, I think, yeah, there we go. Oh, <laughs> did I just undershoot that? There we go. So that opens that up. What else is there? So I can use this to go down. Which is good, because I think I can just cross them. Let's see. So if I just head up the chain. Which is apparently already there, because usually we need to drop that down. Look at tower. But that's all there is to it. So yeah, let's continue on. So, this looks diff- oh wait, what does that do? So I turn that on, turn that on, and turn that on. So now we have another one of those portal thingies. I still can't read these. So you can't read those anymore? Ooh, and the poison thingies are uh, covered up, so, let's see. Got attacked. Oh crap, Ravenant. Oh god, that's two of them. Yeah. That's not for us. Those were high level. So, I'm not stupid, let's skip those. Although, I might as well turn this on. Is that enough? Yeah, there it is. So, I'm gonna leave that there. Just... For uh, when we're able to do that, because apparently, yeah, they, those guys can actually be oh, very high level. The witch's magic is still covering those scorn poles. Yes, indeed. Saves us some time. Indeed, it does. She's a very nice lady, isn't she? Um, but there was, yeah, was that that was there. So I think, uh, it broke off. There we go. Because I remembered that that was the first glowing thing we found before. So I think if you put that down, then Atreus can read this. There we go. And... Oh, I need to fire at it. I read it. Interesting. What is it, boy? Are you gonna share the interesting bit? We're just gonna have to read it again. New lore marker found. Beware of Seder and those who practice it. Their sorcery is insidious and ever-changing, and so are the souls who master it. The more power they summon, the less they are themselves. Is that how they turn into revenants? Is this Seder the blue magic or the... You know, the, 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 the green poison magic that's all around this place? Would make more sense that it's that than uh, anything else. But, moving on. So this, now we're back at Sindri's place, and we're further away from Sindri's favor. Um, but I do want to check out Brock's favor as well, so let's check the menu. So yeah, I think um, Brock's quest is over there somewhere in the sure mountains. Each other's backs in the storeroom. But uh, I can actually customers. go there right now, I Whoa. think. Wolves? Oh god. Slam. Keep it up. That's one. There we go. Another one. Yeah, a little bit. Oh wow, the poison actually did a really big number on me. I think that might be a full one. Yeah, almost full. So they did drop a bit of uh, health stones, but yeah, that was a very nasty wolf. The poison wolf. Really hurts. So let's open that up. And I don't think we ever went over here. 
And then we have this one over here. Atreus doesn't seem to care. Uh, for what exactly? This place looks inviting. That means we can just... So I can't open this up because I think, yeah, that's that wreck stuff we've seen before underneath the witch's uh, abode. So that's pretty much everything I can do because that's also something I can't break. Let's just take care of the wolf. Are there more? Or was it just that one? Yeah, there we go. Let's just take care of this little thing. There we go. And they do drop health stones, all of them. So uh, let's get up here and activate the elevator. Father, do you do you think I could carry here now? No. But I. I said no. Okay. I'm guessing he's talking about the ashes of uh, Fae. Since now that we have the light, we should be able to get through the fog. But... this It's not going to be that easy, I think. Although, we did get so through the uh, entire the realm magic. there, but... You would know better than I. Thanks. Now watch yeah. your step. A compliment. Carelessness will only delay us. Right. And we still lack a lot of uh, abilities. And by the way, in previous God of War games, we did get different weapons, and right now we're still stuck with the Leviathan Axe. Wonder if that's gonna change. Well, there's the Black Breath again. What do we do now? We see if the witch was right. Uh, do I need to do anything? Yeah, there's a button prompt. It's working. She was right. Oh, I can walk Come, through it now. Let us finish this. I feel like this is not gonna be the end, definitely. I mean, I'm about... Hmm, I'm about 10 hours in, but still. This is... I feel like I'm gonna get jump scared in a minute. Because it's really dark right in front of me. See red stuff up there. The staircase is going to the left. Well, it's doing it, its job. It's really nice to light of all time. And we're almost at, yeah, we're almost at where we need to be. So that should be, that should be it then. Yeah, there we go. How did you know how to do that all of a sudden? It's the light then of Alfheim complete! And that means we need to start climbing now, so we can actually turn back a bit. Just want to take a look if there's anything I missed. No, okay. Let's just let's just start climbing and see what uh, what lies ahead. You know, Mother said the giants used to visit the Midgard Mountains before they disappeared. Disappeared. Yeah, I guess they just up and left one day. No one knows why. Perhaps they returned to their home. Tiernan? Maybe. I wonder if the face in the mountain was a tribute to some important giant. It might. It probably is. Okay. More no, we black it. stuff. More black breath. Here we go again. Does this thing run out, actually? Are we gonna get spooked? Oh yeah, we're definitely getting spooked. Okay. So big open cave. Doesn't seem like there's any items around here. So let's open up the door. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, is what the hell is that? Deer? I don't remember stories of a giant with a deer head. Wonder who he is. Dear God, probably literally. No way across, but there's a sandbowl. Hmm. Seems like another <laughs> puzzle room. There are a few zombie creatures around here. So if I fire at that, what does that do? The floor boy. That doesn't mean anything. Something's missing. 
Think there's a second light crystal around here? E, there might be, but I can actually turn this thing closer as well. Maybe the riddle will help. Nothing. So, there's still some stuff missing on the what left. Say? No yoked beast, nor fearful thrall, nor rooted tree, doth know my call. Hmm. I'm no good at riddles. Um, so there must be one on the left here. Ah! Smack that open. Just in case. Wap. Slam and cleaved in two. There we go. I do like to finish with an executioner's cleave. Though it's not as useful in combat, it's really nice to finish something off. That was really, really good indeed. Okay. Seems to be uh, blocked off by the red stuff. I still can't do anything with that. Oh, I think that got up there. Hmm. Question is, how do I get it down here? Ah, okay. Was well, as simple as that. Just throw your axe at it. If something doesn't work, just throw your this axe at it. Been important to the giants. It's like they're testing us. It might be. Okay. Get down. That looks right. And now pull it close, I suppose. Oh no 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 no! Just need to fire at it first. I can almost make it out. Pulling it closer. What's the answer? Is it the answer? Freedom. Sure, that works. Oh Go yeah, because ahead. because sure. trees are locked in, so they don't have freedom. Freedom will never call to a tree. Fair enough. What you doing? What the hell? Oh, thought maybe there'd be a bridge. <laughs> Your giants need to test us further. Yep. You can't just cross yet. But I'm gonna take your pots. With a bit of hack silver. Does that mean I can is this a door? It is. There's a crystal in that torch hole. Should I light it? Um What's that? Now you can light it. That helps, right? I I think. Do we Oh, there's a bucket over there. But yeah, I'm just gonna Guess drop we have down. To go down and go up. Yep. These but what goes up must go down. Giants. <laughs> Why do you laugh? Oh, you're serious. I am always serious. <laughs> I forget. Mom always said you never took an interest in history. Giants are just a race, like elves and hold your folk. It doesn't mean they're big. What of the world serpent? Okay, in that case, giant also means big. But there's only one of them. Ah. So the giants aren't actually big people. <laughs> Jesus. Let's go down. Oh, there's definitely drug in here. There's definitely drug in here. I'm wondering if I should be lighting these. Because they might actually notice us in a second. I can lift this up, but if I go to the left here, what does that do for me? Pull the chest here. Yeah, I, I am moving, Andreas. I am moving. But I don't want to get the treasures. I mean... Oh. Scaled Braces of Focus. 18 and 13. So I lose my 15 runic, obviously, in turn 4 cooldown. No, not interested. No, wait, wait a second. I never added an enchantment to my uh, socket I created. Yeah, so the... Perk activation held burst on any successful 
parry, that is going to be nice. And that's going to be nice, that's automatic. So if I parry, I'm going to get a bit of health back, which is always nice. Uh, let's get through this. Drop him down. Oh, crap. So I can redirect the projectiles now. If I could actually do it. Yeah, I'm fucking this up. Wait. Does that mean the nightmares are down as well? No, they don't. There we go. Now they're down. Enemies down indeed. Okay. Let's turn back a bit because we got ambushed pretty much immediately here. So we came from under there. Okay, that's great. So let's move forward. There's an N over here. Which means there must be another chest nearby. We don't know what we're looking for just yet. To get to the side route. I can't jump that. There's a chest on the other side though. There's more enemies here. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Oh wow. Okay, where the hell did that guy come from? Plum, plum, plum. Oh, there we go. We can get the big guy. So that's what you can do with a big guy. Slash. And there we go. Slash that one open. Jeez. On fire. Probably because of me. Ah, because there's a bit of fire on the... How the hell was he on fire? Oh, when I killed the little guys with the dual wielding... With the finisher, he probably bursts out in fire, which causes the... Uh, Nearby enemies to just catch fire as well. What the hell does this do? I'm really confused all of a sudden. There's like crystals around here, but they don't seem to be doing anything. How did you know that was there? Um, I could see it through the cracks. So let's light that up. Okay, that's a bridge up there, and there's our second, our second letter. Let's just take a closer look around. So we have the the N over here, the C over there, and then we can get up here. Ah, there's a chest. Okay. So nine of them are enabled right now. Oh, God! And suddenly an enemy woke up. And ripped in two. So yeah, that does unleash a sort of uh, fire wave, which is interesting. But more hack silver for us. What is this? 
uh, if you say so. And a face. Blam, blam, blam. Um, ripped apart. I think you got him. Yeah, indeed. I think I got him indeed. That was uh, very nice to go. <laughs> so I think there's something else here, but I need another crystal to within a slot to be able to open that up. Huh. Oh, cup. Yeah, we can sell those probably again. Which is nice. Um, then we have the next lantern lighting up the place. And then that moves us further. I do want to fix the chest first. Aha, there's a crystal over here. Oh, the letters are on the wall. I'll do that in a second then. There's the last one up there. Okay, okay, I got it. Plug that in here. And a fire away. There we go. Over here. Yes, sir. A bit more lore, my boy. Wonder who wrote this. Yeah, indeed. I'm wondering that as well. It might be some some of the gods that actually leave these behind, because they're pretty big. But when the mountain was called, it was Melada and Onprice who gave it life. I'm just Guessing the pronunciation here. Wandering souls from distant lands who had tasted of the mead of po poetry and in search of inspiration found each other, and in each other found great love. To the summit of Midgard's great mountain a secret bridge was built. Here they would make their heart and fortress to live free of prophecy and know only themselves and each other. The mountain became a shelter for the outcast and the artist for Jotnar and new friends made. And to this beacon, many more souls made pilgrimage. Even as now we shelter from the storm, let none forget the beckoning spirit of the mountain that was. Sounds like the mountain used to be pretty amazing. Mom always loved, always did love artists. I must say, the mom is really, really a lot of uh, different things in this game. Because she's a warrior, she loves art, she's, yeah. There's a lot, a lot of things going there. Kind of missed that. Just a button. There we go. That's a B. I think we had a B, right? So there's a, a B. Wait, is it open? It's open. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Completely by accident. That's gonna be a mead. Yeah, a horn of mead. There we go. Horn of blood mead. There we go. And then let's uh, dive deeper into that hole down there. Because that seems to be the way forward. It's also where the quest mark is pointing us towards. So uh, dive in. There are a lot of corpses around here, and it, I feel like there's a uh, struggle between a those knights and the giants, because there's two distinct types of bodies. There we go. Tell me what you see. Well, they look like men, not giants. Correct. Be you seeking treasure? See the traps? Oh yeah. Lucky for us, they set them all off. Be grateful these stay dead. Yeah, and I hope we don't set anything off, because you're kind of foreshadowing there. Um, oh, now we're behind the deer statue. Okay. The statue. Fair enough. We made it across. And now we're going to get ambushed. No? Okay. Halt. We want to get the chest in front of the statue here. There we go. A nice bunch of hack silver, and then... Can you read it? Sir. Oh, he can. Oh, oh. this is Durothron, one of the four stags of the World Tree. He's supposed to watch the entrance to Jotunheim while the giants sleep. Think he's still there? I do not know. Hmm. So, the four stags. Interesting new bit of lore. Yes, Light that up. There's a door here. Seems to be where we need to go, but... It seems to be breakable as well. And a few enemies, Boy, and another scroll, here. there we go. Yes, sir. I've seen this language before. 
There's a lot of scrolls in here, by the way. The serpent cannot be spoken to, but this belligerence towards the Aesir is unmistakable. The destruction of Tyr's temple is infeasible while he remains, however. His presence has caused the Lake of Nine to submerge it completely. Therefore, the larger aim of fettering realm travel is still achieved. The Raven Keeper. So the Aesir wanted us to... Well, they wanted to block off the bridge. So no uh, travel was possible. What the hell? Oh! This changes red to green, depending on what you need. That's white. Experience. Okay. Well, I would rather go for the experience anyway, so... Uh, there we go. Experience is always a bit better than just health. Uh, smack. There we go. The other pot. But now, let's go through the gates. Just, just as a precaution. Oh, the, 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 the ones that are actually enemies do something different. Okay. And smack. And smack. Well, you can do whatever he wants to, but he just died. That was a very crappy health stone, by the way. Uh, Let's light that up. Ooh. Oh, that's the other side of that red wall we've seen before. Aha. Uh -huh. And there's another pot here. But it might be that we can only access that tablet if we open up the gate, probably. I'm gonna assume that for now. Ah. Thought it was indestructible there for a second. Focus up, boy. Okay. Smack, smack, smack. Uh, a shockwave on top of it. I think I got all of them in one fell swoop. That was awesome. We find a way up. Ooh. There's another hole in there. So we could go up. Just gonna get the item really quickly. Uh, the highest peak in the realms. Any mom knew this of the giant's mountain? No, the request has been more complicated than she could have foreseen. Yeah, is yeah we can't rem we can't forget that it was uh, her request to be uh, scattered from the mountain. Although that might have been with a purpose. Now that we think about it, could be that she knew something else. Which calls us to, uh, well, there might be a goal behind this journey aside from just getting to the top and scatter her ashes. That she knew something about the top of the mountain that we don't. Let's head up. It's a name, I think. Brasley. It means terror. Terror? What's that? Who or what would be named terror indeed? Weird. There's a candle all tangled up with string and some sort of animal hide. Some kind of lantern? No wick, though. That is of no use to us. The Bifrost lights our way. Wait, what are we talking about? Hey, what do you think lit these torches? The dead don't need light. Eyes open. You have a point there, although... Wait, where are we going here? goes down but is this where we came from because we lit those right I think we lit those ah yeah okay we did a full circle there okay just got me a bit of hack silver nothing more but indeed who lit the torches somebody must have come before us um, yeah maybe we can find out something here Okay, more chain. Just punching, putting his fist through the chest. I always like that animation now. Stop that. Come on, that was just... <laughs> yeah, attracting attention probably. Okay, this looks like a more important gate. With its own mechanism. Let's turn it around. Oh, wow. 
heart Whoa. of the mountain. What is all this? Where are we? A mine. And if this claw reaches the summit, our goal is near. Huh. Interesting. Well, since we reached the heart of the mountain, feels like a good place to uh, end this episode. So I'd like to thank you all enormously for watching. And uh, when we get back, we'll uh, continue uh, working our way up, I Looks suppose, like through this mine. So thank you guys enormously for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time on God of War. Goodbye!